Hi, this is Jeff Kahn with Cunis Honda of Quincy, Illinois, bringing you another episode of Cunis Car Combo. Today we'll be picking up Jenna from the United Way and Jessica from Horizons in this brand new 2023 Honda Ridgeline. <laughs> So Jessica, um, you know, Jeff and I did this a while back and it's back by popular demand, right Jeff? It is. At least our popular demand. So <laughs> um, Jessica is the uh, food pantry manager mm -hmm. at Horizons and I know a lot of people in Quincy know what Horizons does as far as their soup kitchen, but the food pantry is really intriguing. So can you tell us a little bit about why your food pantry is unique to Quincy? Yeah, um, so one of the things that we really love um, to be able to offer the people of Quincy is a free choice food pantry. Um, a lot of our food pantries have had to go to the model where everything is kind of pre-packaged for folks, which is great, you know, that we're still able to put food in hands. Sure. Um, but we love is the experience um, at our food pantry is a little bit different because you get some one-on-one -on -one time with people like you, Jenna, you volunteer for us and that's great. Um, so you do get a one-on-one -on -one experience it's with fun. a personal shopper exactly. and you kind of have the integrity of being able to make your own choices because you know what works best for you. Absolutely. So yeah, we love that. Yeah, so I think we talked about this a little bit last time you and I were together, um, but that's what's really cool about their pantry is, you know, you can take somebody through that maybe is not as educated about what they need to buy and if they, you know, if they got hamburger this month instead of sausage, then we can get them hamburger helper and maybe some spaghetti sauce or whatever that exactly. looks like. So it's kind of helpful too to help them it's kind of teaching them to budget without having to pay. Yeah, you can do, you can help them with putting together meals. You can help them with um, choosing things that fit their dietary restrictions. Mm -hmm. You can help them by putting, um, you know, different, just understanding nutritionally what they should be searching for. So there's a lot of kind of advocating for them as well as kind of guiding them through um, or just even allowing them to have the space to have their own voice, which is really mm -hmm. nice. Yeah. So how long have you been with Horizons? Um, I joined them summer of 2020. So I'm on my third year now. And are awesome. you a Quincy native? Where are you from? Yeah, what, born and raised. A little bit about you. So. Yeah, so um, I was born here in Quincy um, and grew up here going to the Quincy Public Schools, go Blue Devils. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, Big win last week. That's oh, yeah, right? oh yeah. Big win. Um, and then uh, married my husband Chris, who's from north of here. And so now we live out in the country north of Quincy. So now I'm a country girl for the first time. Um, we have two beautiful babies that get to hang out at the pantry with me all the time. I love that. Yes, my two girls, Kennedy and Melody. Um, and so we're homeschooling them. And so that Horizon is kind of part of their homeschooling experience too, which is really cool. It's cool. Yeah. And they're watching you and give back to others. And that's a really great way to raise kids. It is really <laughs> great getting to raise kids there because they get to learn that there is just one, more than one type of person. Yes. And uh, so they're kind of getting to grow up around all kinds of diversity and kind of experiencing what poverty looks like for real and not just on paper, which yeah. I think I could have benefited from right. a lot earlier in life. So yeah, pretty beautiful. It's amazing. So where does Horizons uh, get their funding? What's kind of, uh, what, are, what are things that uh, the community can know about you? We, how can they help yeah, Horizons? So, what um, we, do? we do receive our funding from multiple places, but primarily we're receiving those from our community, from donors, private donors. Um, both monetarily and our food pantry. If you walk around the halls of our food pantry, you are looking at an absolute snapshot of Quincy's generosity. These are coming from just your average Joe making an extra trip around the, the grocery store and grabbing a few extra bags for us. I love and that. Yeah, so it is really, really neat to get to walk around and see a picture of what people provide here. Yeah, and so United Way does a little bit, but that's just a small portion of, okay. of yeah. all the donations that they corporate get. corporate donors too, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and then one thing we always try to let people know about is that on our social media, like through our Facebook page and on our website, monthly we do update a list of a top five or top 10 items that we need the most in the pantry okay. because it changes so much. Hmm. So let's see what that is right now. You probably have it memorized, but we I'm not gonna, gonna I, I don't because I answer that question weekly, but yeah, we're getting ready to launch a new list for September as okay. well. Now I know you have a big fundraiser coming up soon. Tell yeah. us about your big fundraiser coming up. I saw that on Facebook. Yeah, it's really exciting. So um, the details are a little mobile right now. So what I can tell you for sure, it's called the Charcuterie and Community event, and it's gonna be in November okay. on a Friday. 
I'm not going to tell you which one because I'll get it wrong. Right. <laughs> um, but that'll be at the Quincy Country Club. Um, and so we did that. We did that for the very first time last year, and it was just a lot of fun. Um, it had a lot of well-received feedback. Mm. Um, and so I will say just as a little like sneak peek, there is going to be a, a chopped element involved in that. Um, so I won't go into the details too much with that, but I'm really, really excited. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the show. And you went last year, didn't you? I did. Okay, yeah, I did. we were both there. So that'll be new this year, the chopped part. And I'm a total chop nerd, so I'm really excited to see how that's going to kind of come oh to goodness. fruition. Yeah. So yeah, definitely want to grab your tickets. You can do that on our website. That's Perfect. Awesome. Well, I'm I'm excited to bring you to today a little bit of cutest turkey turkey. Oh, so, really? Oh, wow. Jenna, if you'd open up our uh, middle console here. Oh, look at so, that. We have brought <laughs> our own uh, charcuterie to go. Oh, so to go. awesome! So we'll That's have a so little cool. charcuterie you. in the rich line today. Very I will nice. not. I will not eat and drive. No one. <laughs> but Thank I will. You. Uh, That's uh, such anyway. a great idea. So a little charcuterie. Appreciate it. Take a break. It says take a break. <laughs> Thank you so much. That is awesome. Have a little fun with that. We never grow out of the. I love it. Car snacks. Yeah. That's but I, I agree, that was a great event last year, mm -hmm. uh, and I know you guys did really well with uh, the fundraising part of it as well. Mm -hmm. uh, if my memory's right, did we go around and kind of vote uh, on the best uh, boards and then everybody gets to enjoy uh, sample those yes. as we go through, so. And then I think, what's your ticket price? Did you get one vote? Yeah, so you received, I think maybe five votes actually. Oh, okay. but five vote tickets, and then you receive um, like a complimentary glass of wine as well. Okay. Um, and then you have the opportunity to purchase additional tickets. So we'll kind of we'll see how that plays out this year. It'll be a similar model, and you'll see me. I'm right at the front yeah. door every year. So if you show up, I'll be the one to help check in. And and I think everything. the wine last year was uh, from Burb again. It was from Lane yep. and Tony. They were there, and I think it was so good that they actually. Made it. I'm not positive, but I'm pretty <laughs> no, sure that's I what, I, right. what I was told, yeah, right. so that's great. Well, mark it in your calendars in November, is that yeah. correct? November, yeah. Right? The oh, charcuterie will they'll be much better than the uh, like charcuterie we brought today, but uh, lunch, it's nothing so. kind of fun. So. That's perfect. Yeah. So, um, you know, Jessica was talking about, they post on their websites, you can follow them at Horizon Social Services on Facebook, and each month they put down their needs. So, just to give you an example, um, the needs that they have done for August are canned fruit, canned soup, sauces, condiments, dressing, hamburger helper, instant oatmeal, tissues, dish soap, and size three and four diapers. So there's quite a list there, but a lot of those items are less than a dollar. And so like to your point, if you're running to the grocery store and you're buying some stuff for yourself, go pick up 20 cans of soup or whatever that looks like. Um, you know, one thing I will tell you, Jeff, that kind of breaks my heart is when I'm when I'm there and I'm walking with somebody, having to watch someone make a choice whether they want to get, like, let's just say, one package of ramen or one patch, package of tomato soup um, versus, you know, this other thing that they have to choose between. And it is hard. Yeah. It's hard to watch that because, you know, when you have a big heart, you just want to give them everything. But, you know, the, the pantry is limited in what they can do and it's, like, primarily based on donations. So. It's just important to know that, and you know, a lot of times people need just basics like ketchup. You guys are always out of ketchup. Yeah, sauces are a really big <laughs> deal. So that's the one thing that gets overlooked really easily in the donation process. Yes. Is not necessarily the big bulk items, but think about the things that put them together. Things like cooking oil, or salt and pepper, mm -hmm. or a sauce, or a gravy, or a salad dressing. You know, those pieces that once you have your can of vegetables and your pound of ground beef, how are you going to turn it into dinner? Right. You right. Know, things like the rice sides or instant mashed potatoes. So yeah, just when you're thinking that through, those things are really good far between, especially sauces and spices. Yes. Right. Well, piggybacking on that idea of mm -hmm. donations and community support, uh, one of CUNIS's uh, key elements into what we are as an organization are faith, family, and giving back. Mm -hmm. So we're in a Honda Ridgeline today. Uh, I figured Jamie might be more interested in buying this than he, he would, would be the have pilot. This. Yes. So Jamie, we're, the Ridgeline's <laughs> an option. Uh, so today I reached out to hy mm -hmm. another local uh, community supporter. So hy is going to help us today with our donation and they're matching what we did today. And so we're going to pull into hy today and we're going to load up some food yeah, for the back of our ridge line so and great. have a little fun. Oh All right, so, that's awesome. So, Jenna, would you call this number here, mm -hmm. which is the High V, and we're going to give Andrew a call, ask for Andrew, and they're going to meet us out here in the parking lot, and uh, our videographer is going to be out there as well to kind of uh, record oh, uh, oh, that together. Oh, that's so fun. And, uh, wow. So we'll, 
Uh, we'll utilize the red line. It's a very versatile type vehicle. We'll load up some room in there. We'll load up some items in the back. So. So we are back after a little bit of a uh, overheating of our GoPro. Seems to be our trend, Jenna, whenever we do the Cunis uh, car combo. Absolutely. So I'm not sure where we left off just a minute ago, but we are back and running. So let's talk a little bit about the food pantry part of things we've talked about, but you also provide a soup kitchen every day. Is that correct? So tell us about that a little bit. Yeah, so uh, Monday through Friday, um, Horizon Soup Kitchen also is open and it serves a lunch from noon to one each day. Um, and then on Sunday evenings, we serve it as a dinner from five to six. Um, the food is incredible. We have some of the most amazing cooks in Quincy. I swear our food is better than almost any restaurant I've been to. Um, and so we serve at, um, it's a full hour that it is um, kind of cafeteria style. And then once a month, probably my favorite meal we serve is the fourth Sunday of each month is something we call Dinner Church. Um, and it is done, we kind of pull out all the stops. It's done to the nines. We serve it restaurant style. We have huge, huge crews of volunteers that come to facilitate that entire process. Um, our meal is kind of elevated. We get fancy. Our cooks get to kind of flex their skills a little bit because they're just really well trained and so creative. Uh, awesome. And so we do that and we're able to serve and do some prayer time and we always have a gospel message during that time and people just have a lot of time to connect and sit and chat for you know over an hour with each other and so it's been that's been probably my favorite meal that we serve over and there. it's a little so different than your soup kitchen because they're supposed to be there at a specific time right at, that's right at dinner church on dinner church sundays they need to be there right at five because it's a seated dinner yes um whereas the other ones are more open house from five to six yeah i love that we so, serve a lot of meals through that soup kitchen <laughs> so how many meals does horizons provide on a monthly basis mm -hmm. i'll give you the rough number i know it changes a lot sure the last time that i had heard we were serving about 170 meals per day okay um, and then through the food pantry side, we're serving a, a little over 300 families each month. So there's a lot of food coming in and going out of our doors. And that food pantry has grown so much yeah. um, that you've had to add extra dates. Correct. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, our pantry is probably a little over four times as heavy, heavily populated as it was when I started there in 2020. Um, so the need is definitely on the rise and continuing to rise. Um, and so far we've just seen the generosity of the com uh, community kind of match that, which is just unbelievable. You know, a year ago, if you'd have told me the numbers that we'd have and that we'd have enough food for them, I don't know that I'd have believed you other than right. right. So, yeah. And for those wanting to make donations, I'm assuming the non-perishable type of food items are best received. Yeah. And uh, We can also take freezer and refrigerator items as well. Sometimes it's best if we can have someone call ahead for that, but we take non-perishable donations Monday through Friday from nine to two. There's a, an overhead door, a garage door on the west side of our building that has a doorbell on it. So it's really easy just to pull up to that door, ring that doorbell, and somebody's gonna have a giant smile on the other side of that door to take your donation. Okay, so we are nearing the end of uh, the cutest car combo on this date. And uh, Jenna, uh, on our inaugural ride, uh, was kind enough to give us a little bit of her musical talent. So, Ice, Ice, there you go. Baby. All right, stop. Collaborate and listen. Ice is back with my brand new invention. Something grabs a hold of me tightly. Flow like a harpoon daily and nightly. Will it ever stop you? I don't know. Turn out the lights. I think this is going to become one of the trends that we do here in Quincy, so. and so I'm going to leave it up to the two of them to come up with something as we uh, finish out this ride. I think it's mostly Jessica. Give it to us. Because <laughs> you picked it. Are you ready? Sure. All right. Yeah. Come on, knock it out, knock it out today. I ain't gonna let it in. Worry, wanna steal my joy away. I ain't gonna let it win Cause on my best day I'm a child of God On my worst day I'm a child of God Oh, every day is a good day 
And you're the reason why. Look at that. That's all I had to do. That's all you had to do. <laughs>